hello everyone. Everyone come from every part of the world and everyone who are who is interested in the Chinese medicine. Yes, today's video is special for the Chinese medicine. So the former videos are about two to three videos uh, are just uh, talking about the medicine of the world and uh, the first video the the the, the, the several videos in, in in initial is talking about the Chinese medicine so we arrange just uh, uh, the interval 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 just insert uh, switch it, switched. So uh, sometimes we talk about the Chinese medicine. Sometimes we talk about the medicine of the world. And uh, remember the first time we talk about the Chinese medicine, we bring a concept of the positive and the negative. So that is very interesting. When the ancient China time, the Chinese medicine doctors has realized in all the world, even in all the universe, we can separate all the stuff, all the things into two sides. One is positive, one is negative. So we can to see it very clearly and vividly that in our body, the house, situation can be separated into two sides one is positive one is negative so the theory about the negative and the positive is easily to definitely to definite uh, the not only the physiology but also the pathology so we are so pleasure in the honest honored to explain how it comes when we talk about the positive and the negative in all the Chinese medicine so as it going to to speak it frankly we can know positive and negative is the basic theory that we have going to talk about the Chinese medicine and to have a very correct or precisely di diagnose. So when the positive that is upward in the heart in the shine, when the negativity is downward, it's dark, it's cold. So uh, that is just the two system. So afterward, when we talk about the medicine of the world, the modern time, the medicine has, has advanced so, so, so high technology and high, uh, high standards. So we can know the nerve system, the autonomical nerve system. Here are two sides. One is sympathetic nerve, one is parasympathetic nerve. And the two sides, all in the autonomic nerve system, so it, it, it couldn't be controlled. So that is very naturally, and a very, very casually, naturally, and a random, uh, every that you, you cannot control it out of consciousness. So uh, one is sympathetic, one is parasympathetic. It's just a little bit similar with the theory of positive and negative. So the coincidence make people so interesting about the Chinese medicine. The time is just before the AC about 300 to 500 years amount of time. That is our, uh, the era of a uh, Chun Qiu or uh, Zhang Guo. That is a time so many philosophers appeared. So the Chinese medicine has been so, so, uh, so mature is just uh, 
till the present time. The initial time is about that time. So when that time we has we has begun to know so many concepts and theories to explain how the illness comes and how the exerting in our body system. So after four more videos, we talked about the positive and negative. Today, we will bring you another basic concept when the Chinese medicine doctor has to diagnose your illness or your syndrome. That is the five elements. Okay. The five elements in the theory of positive and negative are the same for the theory of Asian philosophers uh, study. So it is going to say that five elements is the basic material to compose the universe entirely. And the five elements is wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So that is very easy to see. Five elements is the ancient time people. They acknowledge to the scope of the material's personality and its, its reaction relationship. So here is the saying goes. Zhang Zhong Ji Shang Han Ren Shu Ren Bing Wu Chang Yi Yo Wu Zhang. So the so the Chi, Chinese Asian Thai Chinese doctor Doctor Zhang has a book named Shang Han Ren. Here is a sentence go. Ren Bing Wu Chang Yi Yo Wu Zhang. So what is the Wu Chang? The Chang is the normal motion, normal action, normal motion. So the Wu is the five elements. So it's direct and intricate. That the five elements is going to present the five kinds of, of, of things. The five kinds of things, normal motion. And uh, to set to classify these five elements into induction. The five is is intricate wood, fire, earth, metal, water. So the thing is motion and the action. So we can just to know about it and the, the Chinese medicine will tell you that. China medicine theory, the five elements in it is the ancient times, uh, is the ancient time acquisition to talk about all the things that uh, existed in our daily life. And uh, sometimes it can just uh, in the dialectics refer to the thought method and the, the medical ex experiment medical experiment so the five element theory is not only existed in our daily life of of the whole world it also can just to be used in the dialectics some kind just like the thing, thinking method and also it used to it used to it used on the medical experiment okay when we talk about the personality the characteristic of the five elements here is the saying goes shang shu hong fan shui yue ren xia Yue Yen Shang, Mu Yue Chu Chi, Jing Yue Chong Ge, 
土原架强。Okay, the 木约屈指 the say the same is is the same means the wood warmth the growing development and relaxing the several personality. So 火约岩上 the fire warmth. The warmth, the heart, the upward, the viper's personality. To to 原架强 the earth's walls. The 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 cultivate the cultivate the bear the transform the the abide the accept personality. 金约从革 the metal walls, the clinging, the silent descending, the condensed personality. 水约润下 the water walls, cool cold, moisture downward. So that is the approximate approximate ah.、Uh, Characteristic feature about the five elements, so you can just see it in a very simple sentence. So every sentence has its means, has its mean meaning. So, uh, it is the five elements personality. So we have to talk about the very important phenomenon, 相生相克 So, 相生 is to birth. 相克 is to kill. So the five elements to birth, just like wood birth fire, means the wood can be the fuel for burning fire. So the wood, the wood is the birth. Uh, the fire is the birth from wood. The wood burst fire, and the fire burst earth. So after the fire burning all the material, then the the final material is going to be the ash and the earth. So fire burst earth, and then the earth burst metal. So where is where is the metal come from? We always can find metal or mineral mineral under or in the earth. So the earth burns metal, and then the metal burns water. Water is not only come from the heaven, the raining, but、uh, we can also discover and find water. From the mineral, the metal mineral, so the metal burst water. Finally, the water burst the wood. So when the wood want to be glowing, it need to absorb water. So the water burst the wood. These five is all about to burst. And we、we'll、talk about to kill, just like the wood kill earth. Why? Because the wood will eat or absorb the nutrition in the earth. So the earth was eaten by the wood. The wood eat earth. So wood kill earth, and then the earth kill water. Why? Because the water is blocked by the earth. Water will be blocked by the earth, so the water will not be、uh, flow very fluent, fluently. So the earth block water, earth kill water, and then the water kill fire. Because the water can eliminate the fire burning, 
So the water kill fire, and then fire kill metal because the fire burn metal to become liquid. So the metal will be burned into liquid. So the fire kill metal, and then the finally metal kill wood. The metal can cut. The wood, the wood will be cutted by the metal, so the metal kill wood. So it's a very simple and interesting game about the five elements, the basic two phenomena, to burn and to kill. So that is a, uh, that is a logic, lo logical concept, ideology in the five minute five elements if you want to lay them become a game so that is have uh, the rules into bur to birth and to kill so that is the basic concept when we talk about the five elements so it is beside the theory of positive and negative we also talk about the five elements and in the five elements here are two important very main thoughts about the phenomena in the game around the five elements two birds and two kill so that is just the beginning and we can just use the five elements to talk about five kinds of people. So every kind of people has its temperature, personality, or feature characteristic. So every kind has its uh, habit. So they will just to produce or just bring different illness and disease. Just like the metal kind person, it just uh, have a square face, and uh, uh, the the face is just very rich and uh, uh, very up obvious square face. Uh, he's just uh, very stubborn, uh, so and uh, a little bit sharp. Uh, the the, the, the wood kind person, he or she's very tall and he's just a, like a rectangle, has a very long nose and a very honest. Uh, just like the water kind of people, water kind of person, he has a round face and the skin is very fine, have a very big eyes and a uh, the skin is very flexible and he's very cute. Just like the fire kind of people, he has a very tough and sharp shape of the face and the, and the bone on his face is very obviously and uh, he has a little bit prefer to red color skin so uh, and uh, always feel hot and uh, the earth kind of people uh, he has a very thick uh, mean face you can you can see uh, that that he's just a very uh, very thick and uh, uh, a little bit uh, a little bit clumsy and uh, the bone and the meat is very heavy and the fat it's a it's a very uh very uh stubborn uh some kind so the five element can just classify people into five sorts so when we see each different kinds of pe person they will bring or produce different kinds of disease so that is a way that we can just to uh, diagnose a person from his or her out, out 
not looking. So that is a very simple way and an interesting way that we can talk about. Okay, that is all the basic concept of the five elements that I want to offer to all the people. So uh, that is not entirely about the five elements. We have other concepts and theory have going to know will be revealed on the next video. So uh, this video bring the basic concept of the five elements and uh, bring some interesting things to you. You can know about a little bit uh, the five elements. So these five elements not only not only be used on the diagnose but also to describe the viscera in our body. So uh, we, we, we will going to describe the viscera to classify the viscera into the five elements so that we will to make doctors, medicine, Chinese medicine doctor to diagnose how your disease come from uh, with the two birds and two kill in other phenomena. Okay, this today's video, hope you can have a very wonderful time. And it is really so interesting, hope you can just have a good time with me. So we still have other, uh, other things going to know. So uh, just the next video will prefer to you, uh, will offer something to you. So provide you other more. Thank you for your watching and visiting. So see you next time. Bye bye.